Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Monday Morning Podcast for Monday, um, October 3rd, 2016. What's going on? How are you? Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Today was supposed to be the fucking first day of the pink football, and I didn't see any of that shit out there. Did they abandon it? Did I dream that it went away? Uh, that's, they probably walked away. Too many people were getting wise. They made their money. The old filthy, stinking NFL snuck away. <laughs> With all their pink money to raise awareness. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll fuck, you know, we made our fucking money off of it. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, maybe there's, I don't know. I should, I, I thought it was in October. Isn't that when the, the pink lady takes in, in all that money because everybody's suffering? Fucking asshole to buy yourself a pink yacht. Isn't that how it works? You know, and then everybody walks around with a little fucking pink uh, you know, a pocket square or some shit. Let's take a moment of silence to uh, listen to all the money that is not going towards the disease we all think we're trying to fight right now. Jets pass over. Fucking somebody eats some fucking cotton candy. And on to the games. Um, all right, I'm not going to be like this, okay? Um, it's Sunday when I'm recording this. I just got back from... Uh, a fun weekend. I did two nights in Madison, Wisconsin. And uh, then I did a gig in Omaha, Nebraska. Went to the Cornhuskers game versus uh, Illinois, which is a great time. Legendary, legendary football stadium. Can't believe I finally got there. Back in the day, I used to do... I'm going to actually talk to my agent because I used to do so many fucking college gigs back in the day when I was coming up. And then somewhere along the line, you know, you get a following and then you just go to the city and you, you either go to the club... Or if you're lucky, you go to a theater or some shit. And um, somewhere along the line, I just kind of, I got out of doing, I want to get back to doing that shit. But all I remember was I did a zillion fucking colleges in Nebraska and Kansas. I was forever flying in, into fucking Kansas City and driving out to Hayes. Is Hayes, Nebraska? Or is, it, is it Hayes, Kansas? I can't even remember. Dodge City. Grand Junction. I can't, I can't remember the names of them. It was so fucking long ago. I just remember when you got on the 80 in Nebraska. Jesus Christ, Cleo, you're going to scratch the whole podcast, buddy? Huh? Come here. Let me help you with, let me help you with that. It's under your collar. I got you. I got you. I got you. There it is. There it is. Oh, look at that face. And when they stick their face out a little further. Oh, that's the spot. There it is. Good. All right, great. Okay, anyways. Jesus. Go on, go lay down. Go lay down, buddy. Go on, go on. Um, so you go across the, uh, the 80. Um, you get about halfway across the state, and there was this weird, like a fucking footbridge would just go across this highway. And um, major highway. I mean, you can basically take that thing all the way out to San Francisco if you go west, and I think it... Uh, I don't know where the hell that one dies. I drove the 70 the whole way. That one dies somewhere. I drove it from like, picked it up in like Utah off of the 15, drove the 70 all the way into like fucking Pennsylvania. Like a madman. I can tell you that. I drove cross country in like three and a half days by myself with all my shit in my car, my big square fucking TV, you know, parking next to, you know, in parking lots, sleeping. <laughs> I wouldn't even get a fucking hotel room. I got a hotel room one night, but then I had to like, pick the fucking TV up and take it in. It was just a pain in the ass. So I was just like, ah, fuck it. The next night I slept in the car. And anyways, I drove like a fucking lunatic, like 70, 80 miles an hour the whole way there. And um, didn't get pulled over till I got to the George Washington Bridge. And that's when I got pulled over and the cop came up the window and go, you know, it's funny. I drove here all the way from Los Angeles. The guy goes, shut the fuck up and give me a... <laughs> he didn't... He didn't he didn't give a shit about how, how, how I thought it was a funny little moment that, you know, I just drove fucking 2,500 miles and I didn't have a problem. And I got down to the last three miles of my trip and uh, then I'm getting a ticket. And this, this man did not give a shit and he gave me a ticket. So anyways, I'd done a bunch of college gigs out there. So throughout the years, that's how I went to all the baseball stadiums, football and all that shit when I was on the road. And uh, every fucking time I would be anywhere near Nebraska um, if they had a game, it was always at night, or if they had a game, they were on the road, and I was never able to go. So fortunately, I finally got to go, and um, it was pretty cool. I actually met Larry, the cable guy there. I'd never met him, seen him you know, blow up throughout the years, 
and uh, got to hang out with him. And he's like the fucking president out there. So like they had like that, all their Heisman Trophy winners were there that day. So Mike Rozier came in and I actually got a picture with him and Larry, the cable guy, photo bombed it in the background. I was there with Nate Craig. We had a great fucking time. Um, so thanks to Larry for letting us in to his, uh, his, his fucking, what do you call it? The living room, the suite there. It was just great. But anyways, the um, stadium was amazing. Those people are fucking loud too. That wasn't like the most riveting game either. Like the first half, of course, the part that I saw before I had to drive back up to Omaha um, kind of sucked. And it also, it really sucked because I bet Nebraska and they were given 20 and a half points. And halfway through the second quarter, I'm just thinking, why the fuck would I give 20 and a half points to Lovey Smith. This guy, this guy fucking coached in the NFL. Sorry, I'm yawning here. Guy coached in the NFL for like, I don't know how many goddamn years. Now he's at the college level. You're going to give, I'm going to give this guy 20 and a half fucking points. And Larry kept going, ah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We, we, we scored more points in the fourth quarter than anybody else. And they actually came back and they made it close. But uh, by then I was long gone and uh, we drove up and had a great show in Omaha, which I've never done a, a gig there. I've landed at that fucking airport a zillion times, but I have never, um, never did like an adult show. There was always like a college show. So, um, that was, it was just a great fucking weekend. I got to tell you, the longer I live, the more urge I have. Like I was out in Nebraska and I was fucking in like Wisconsin and I was envious. I was like, look at all this fucking space. These people have, look at this trees. Look at that. They have water. Shit doesn't just catch on fire out here. Sure, they got them tornadoes out there. You know? But uh, I went down this road when I was in Wisconsin. I swear to God, it's like one of those roads that they shoot a car commercial on. And I was just out there, like in Nebraska, going, this right here, this is where you could actually, you could, you could have a fast car. You could ride a fucking motorcycle and not worry that someone's going to fucking kill you every three seconds. You could actually get your car you know, up to 80, 90 miles an hour out here. L.A., you got to try to do it at 3 in the morning, and you get on the fucking highway, and that's the only time those poor bastards can try to fix the fucking thing. So then they have it all go down to one lane, and you're sitting in traffic again at 3 in the morning. Um, so it's beautiful. I fucking love Wisconsin, man. I'm a big fan of Milwaukee, too. Um, and Nebraska was the shit. And... uh Anyways, I made an ass of myself, as always, when I, when I landed in Nebraska because we had to get up at 7 in the morning because um, I thought the fucking game was at 12.30. I don't know if when I was out here, when I bought the tickets, if it just said uh, it was just doing like Pacific Coast time because we're, we were two hours behind them. I don't know why you would do that. So I thought the game was at 12.30. So I got like 7 a.m. flights out of fucking uh, Madison, Wisconsin, connecting Chicago O'Hare, which is always a nightmare. You know, that fucking airport's like nine miles long, right? Um, so we fucking, uh, we connect there and then we land. And, and when I got off, I was so fucking tired. And I'd gone out the night before like a fucking asshole. And when I landed, I saw this kid when I was going to the rental car place. He had this Kansas Jayhawks shirt on. And uh, I've always loved Kansas. It's, I don't know why. I was one year. I just I started watching them. Um, I just liked them, you know. And uh, so I've always wanted to go to the field house and everything. So I saw it. and I was like half asleep, and I was just like, "Oh shit, Kansas! You Jayhawks fan?" He goes, "Yeah." And I go, "They play in Lincoln or Omaha?" Like I wasn't even thinking. Like, and the kids like uh, they play in Lawrence, Kansas. <laughs> And I just walked away and I, I was so fucking tired. It didn't even hit me till Nate started laughing at me. I was like, oh my God, he's going to think I'm a fucking idiot. He was like, hey, listen to the podcast and everything. I was just like, oh yeah, Kansas, do they play in Nebraska? That's basically what I said to him. And he just sort of looked at me like, uh, no. He probably walked away like, wow, that really isn't an act. He really is that fucking stupid. 